Thanks for stopping by AverageJoeResto.com to uh, look at one of our how-to videos. Today uh, it's the uh, end of December, it's cold outside, there's snow all over the ground, and uh, it's an opportune time to do a project on your Mustang that's going to take you a little bit of downtime, but it'll be well worth it when you're in the driver's seat. What I'm going to show you how to do is restore your uh, Mustang's instrument gauge cluster. This one here is for a 1968 Mustang. I'm going to run through the process of cleaning everything up on this, uh, the wiring, uh, the gauges, repainting the needles, and, and refacing it with lenses and a bezel. It's a pretty simple job. You want to take your time doing it. It's one of those pieces that's right in front of you the entire time you're driving. So uh, keep watching this video, and I'll take you through the steps to a finished product. You're going to enjoy this when spring comes. First thing I'm going to do is photograph the back of my uh, gauge cluster. So I'll have a reference to where all the wiring and everything plugs in once it's all cleaned up and I've got this thing restored and I'm ready to, to put the wiring back in. So I'm going to take a couple of photos of that. Alright, to get started I'm going to remove all of the, uh, the wiring and the bolts from the back of the cluster. And then I'm going to clean up the back face of this before I disassemble it. Got my wiring off of the uh, back of the housing so I can clean this up easily. What I'll use for this is some wax and grease remover. That way I don't remove any of the lines. I just want to clean all the dirt debris off, make this piece look brand new, uh, freshly restored. I'm going to use some of this fine scotch right bright pad to uh, remove some of the rust off the back of the housing here. There's no need to have that on there. I'm restoring this piece, so I'm going to clean it up as best I can before I put it in. Even though it's not visible, I know it's back there, and I, I want clean parts going in, so I'm going to clean this stuff up. Okay, I've cleaned off uh, most of the surface rust. Now I'm going to remove the uh, wiper switch control here so I can clean that piece up. To do this is I'm going to clean this uh, chrome piece here with super fine steel wool. It'll be just about as good as new since we can't uh, re chrome that piece and it's pretty difficult to find a working replacement, especially new. We're just going to clean this one up. It should be as good as new. There you go, shiny and new. A little bit of steel wool, clean it right up. I'm going to go ahead and remove the, uh, the gauge housing from the bezel. Series of screws connect that. Remove all the screws and you can get your gauge bases and clean those up. There we go, we got our gauge cluster and housing off of there. So we can uh, clean each individually individual gauge and repaint these needles. We're also going to replace all of these lenses here. As you can see, uh, components start falling out, so you're going to want to reposition those where they go. These are parts you're going to have to reuse uh, for the, the high beams, etc., turn signals. And of course, these lenses will take these uh, retainers out, we'll pop these lenses out. And uh, we'll reuse those in the new bezel to uh, hold these lenses in. This here is the center lens out of the uh, bezel. If you didn't have an accessory gauge in there, you're going to have a little delete button in, the, in this lens. This doesn't always come inside the new package. So what you're going to do is pop this out and salvage it, clean it up so you can reuse it. If you throw this away, you're going to put your bezel in and notice this hole there, and then you're going to be on a hunt for one of these little tabs. So I recommend taking precautions to save this guy, keep it somewhere safe. Leave it attached to the lens until you're ready to clean it and install it for safekeeping. So as you can see, I've got my uh, old parts all laid out here. I've got my retainers laid out how they came out of this bezel and mirroring the opposite side of my uh, gauge cluster. These may appear to be all the same. These two I know for in fact are different. These two here are the same, and this one's obviously the center one. These pieces sometimes wear back in here, so you might want to repaint these. I'm going to take a look at these. We might just clean them up or repaint them with semi-flat black before we put them back in. Usually you don't see them, but a little bit of that edge reveals. So uh, take the time to clean those up if need be, and uh, it'll just finish off your project and make it a whole lot nicer. What I'm doing now is I'm getting some of the light surface dust off of, off of these uh, gauge faces before I clean them off with black and grease remover. I'm cleaning these gauge faces with wax and grease remover to get any uh, remaining dust off of them. 
wax and grease remover allows me to clean without removing any of the silk screening or the paint from the surface. These gauge needles are very, very delicate, so when you're uh, cleaning your faces, you want to make sure you don't hook your uh, cleaning towel to the gauge and, and bend it inadvertently. So, the best thing to do is to just uh, naturally move these guys out of the way as you're cleaning around uh, the resting points. So I've got my uh, <clears throat> some paper in here that came with my packing materials with my uh, new bezel and lenses. And I've slid some in here to protect the gauge face for when I paint, <clears throat> repaint these needles, and also so I can clean them a bit with wax and grease remover to remove any grime or debris on there so I make sure I get good adhesion with the paint. So you just slip some of that paper in there to protect it, clean them off, and then paint them with the fluorescent paint. If you need to get some of this, just check out joeresto.com. We'll tell you where to get it. It may take two paints of coat on these uh, gauge needles. So get the light coat on there first. It'll tack up in a quick second. The second coat, you want to make sure you have enough paint on your brush so it'll flow onto the needle. So while our uh, gauge face needles are drying up, we're going to go ahead and prep the, uh, the bezel here. Uh, hopefully you didn't throw any of your parts away and you kept them because there's a few parts you're going to need to move over from your old bezel over to the new one. And you'll also want to make sure that everything's on your new bezel that's included on your old one. So this brake and felt light uh, filter here is not on my new one. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out, clean it up and put it on the new one. And then I'm going to get started assembling the uh, lenses into here. Alright, I'm getting ready to finish up putting new lenses in. Now if you remember earlier in the video, I uh, mentioned about saving the option delete button. It goes into that center gauge face there if you didn't have an optional accessory in there. So I've saved that, cleaned it up. I'm going to pop it in here and install this uh, left lens and then I'm going to start reassembling the gauge cluster. just about finished with the uh, instrument cluster assembly, putting the, uh, the housing uh, back together with the bezel. I'm going to install this switch and all I've got to do is clean up the wiring and uh, we should be done. So I've got my wiring pretty much cleaned up. I'm going to replace every one of these bolts here. <clears throat> Rather than take a guess and figure out which ones might be working, I'm just going to put all new ones in. I've got a strip of them here and plenty of them. Need them. If you need these bulbs, go to AverageJoeRest.com. We'll tell you where to get them and which ones you need. So I'm going to go ahead and replace these bulbs. We're going to reinstall this wiring. We're going to this thing up. All right, that pretty much wraps it up for this out to on restoring your instrument. We've refaced with a new bus. We've cleaned up the uh, pieces, repainted the needy lenses in. We cleaned up our wiring and reinstalled that with all. It's just a matter of being in the car now and enjoying it. Uh, if you want to know how to remove these guys from your car, go see some of our other videos. Uh, how to uh, replace your instrument bezel video, how to install electro uh, gauge, I believe also those videos show you how to remove the uh, instrument cluster from the vehicle. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you next time.